Hey guys, Hero Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be working on this space here. And I want to let you guys know that this particular home that I worked on did not have a lot of lighting. The light at the corner there was all they had. And then up at the ceiling where there's a provision for lighting, nothing was there. So typically in the evening, it's going to be really, really dark. And the windows you see there are totally sealed. It cannot be opened. So all it does is just give in light. Now, who wants light close to the TV? I don't know. I mean, no air comes through there. It's just light. And that's where the TV is. I'm going to be taking care of that. And the kitchen that has this particular color does not represent my client in any way because nothing about it really screams out to her personality because she loves everything all nice and shiny and glam. So this is just not it. So I'm going to be working on this too as well. I'll be starting off with the entertainment unit and taking out all the things that I don't need because most of these items don't even need to be there. Now this rug has to go. I mean, a green rug and then a red curtain. Nothing goes well together here. So I'm gonna help out my client to make sure that the eyes are happy when they look into this space. I'll be measuring out where I would love to have my panelings and how the windows there are going to be covered. Like I said earlier, these windows do not open at all. They're just there for extra source of light, but then the TV is there, so we don't need that. So that's going to be covered. I painted the back door where the curtain is white and then the other side is going to be black. This is a little wooden unit that comes like this and I don't like the color but this could help me out in my design. So I'm going to have this separated and attached to the wall. I added a fireplace to the design. As this was going on, my client decided to change the TV for a bigger one. I need a marble look behind the TV and because I want to save cost, I took a board and covered it with marble contact paper and had that attached behind the TV. I added more items around the TV area to give it a 3D look. I also installed shelves. These are the 3D panels that I'll be using and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I covered all of the wires neatly. Now I'm going to be making a big gold frame around the TV unit. I 
I'll be adding a display shelf at the top. I added lighting to the space. I made a personalized curtain design for my client. I added a black fabric and bling wrap to make it look exactly like what my client would like. When that was mounted, I went straight to tackle the kitchen area. First off, the cabinets were painted light gray, and then I added handles to all of them. This kitchen deserves a backsplash, so I will be adding something that has a little bit of gray and white, just to make it look really nice, and it would go with the overall theme that I'm working on around the home. I added lighting under the cabinets and changed the lighting from a dull yellow to a bright white and also changed the faucets. Do you all remember the lighting here? I changed that too as well. I added some extra designs to the family portrait and added mirrors and other wall decors into the space. I have a full video for that down in the description box below. I painted the arch here black and trimmed it around with gold and then the wall besides it, I covered it with wallpaper. Following this wall and going right down to where the TV is, is where I'm going to be having another extra design around something that I had already made as a DIY. I added these lights to the space too as well. Here comes the fun part, for me anyway, <laughs> putting up the decor pieces and furnitures to complete the space. The tiles were not changed, so I had to look for a rug that is really, really wide to cover up the living room area. <clears throat> then I added a beautiful coffee table and other items that I know they always will need while they're watching TV. And then I added lighting to the corner and a lounge chair besides it. All of these pieces tie in the decor in such a unique way. And hey, it's not just pretty, but functional too as well. Like the dining table. This home has completely changed from what it used to look like before and I am so pleased with the results.
I forgot to mention that I added more lights here in the kitchen area around the island. Here are some reactions that my client made after seeing the home. Oh, my kitchen? Oh my God, I can't believe my eyes. Wow, 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 wow. This is good. Very creative. Dining, my sitting room. Oh, my living room, everywhere has changed. Oh my God. Oh, this is my house? Can't believe. This is beautiful. And the lights and the ceiling. This pretty light right here. Dining lights, living room. room My light. faucet. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't go anywhere again since they did this house. It's beautiful oh. artist made for me. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much, Ma. I walk in and very talented. It's amazing. Mm. I can't believe this is my house. Excellent creativity. In her own words, she loves the transformation and she's so happy. I'm so happy. Aw, and thank you so much for letting us work in your home. For those of you who want makeovers and are interested in my services, the details are going to be down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.